Good day everybody, my name is Milan and today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest Windows 10 and 11 USB stick. Here is mine, the only thing you need is a 16 gigabyte USB stick. Mine is 64 gigabytes, you can see it right here. And it's a 3.0, this means that the color is different here. It's actually, <laughs> it's uh, blue. And you just have to put it in the computer, that easy. You need the internet connection and if you have everything like that, we can actually do it in about 10 minutes, depending on how fast your internet speed is. So the first thing you have to do is to go to the link in the description, depending if you want Windows 11 or Windows 10. I will be installing Windows 11 for this demonstration and not Windows 10, otherwise it takes more time. But it's the same process. In Windows 10, you just have to scroll down here and create a Windows 10 installation media. With Windows 11, it's pretty much the same. Here you have it create Windows 11 installation media. It's exactly the same, nothing different. So let's click here on download now. After doing this, it might pop up at your downloads list, but mine will pop up at my own download manager. You can check out that video right above. Go to your downloads folder and then you will see media creation tool. Depending if you have Windows 10 or 11, it's exactly the same. Let's double click on it and give it some permissions for administrative privileges. Okay, so now it's saying getting a few things ready. It's actually getting some things from the internet. So you need that right now. The second thing you can do while waiting is put your USB stick in your computer. I would assume that I don't have to show a tutorial how to put it inside your computer. But <laughs> I would assume that you already know that. So here you have the application, the applicable notations and terms. You just have to read them. Uh, I'm just going to accept them. I already know what they're saying. They want to share data and everything to other companies. Sell them. Yay, money. Great. Getting a few things ready again. It's just going to download some things. And now it's going to select language and edition. You can click on this button and then you can select for yourself what you want. We can, for example, do United States and then which edition. It's only 11 now, but with Windows 10, I think you have more options. But with Windows L, 11 is just the same. So let's click here on next. After doing this, you will see two options. And one of these options is, of course, USB stick. It says 8 gigabytes, but I do really highly recommend 16 gigabytes. Windows 11 can get bigger with more updates. An ISO file means that you have a file where you can boot from. A booting means that you're starting up on it. You're starting on Windows 11, then your PC starts it all up. That's what it is. And the ISO file is the file you can use to boot on and to install Windows from there. I can make another tutorial about that one. That's going to be multi-boot. It still has to be uploaded, but I'm going to make one about it. So let's click here on USB flash drive and then click on next. After doing this, I have two options right here. You can see uh, D and this is working USB. I'm going to show you that I'm going to show you if your USB wouldn't be working. If you go to your drives, I can actually see my USB right here. And this is another one part of the USB, but you can't see that they're part of each other. If you go to start menu and you type part, and you see here, create and format hard disk partitions. You should be able to see your own drive in your computer. Mine here is a four terabyte M.2, this is in my computer itself, and this is my USB drive, which is about 64 gigabytes. This is a working partition, which is actually on your drive, and that's the part allocated on working storage. So here I have an unallocated storage, it's not found in the setup. Let's say, for example, I bought a new USB, I formatted it, and I deleted the whole partition. A uh, new USB stick normally always has a partition. This means that you can easily see it here and it's a partition. If it's not a partition, let's for example say that it doesn't have one, you won't see it in this menu. And that also means that Windows ain't gonna see it. So what we can do to fix it is to go to this create and disk partitions. You can see here disk management. If you click right click here on the start menu, you can also find it here. A lot more options but you should be able to find it here at disk management but for the rest if you right click on one of these storages it should be one with you because this is a storage i can't delete right now but it doesn't really matter if you right click here and then click on new simple volume you should be able to see this wizard a wizard is of course a setup um installation process it's making it easier let's click on next 
then you can choose your own size. This is the maximum size of this partition. So I can create it right here. Here we can allocate a letter to our drive. We can even do A if we want, but that's weird because A and B were floppy drives in back in the day. So now it's C and that's why C is your primary drive. Long story, but yeah, back in the day. Let's click here on next. We want the D drive, just keep it standard. And here you can name your own USB drive. So let's say USB drive for Windows 11. Well, actually I'm gonna say that it's gonna remove this name. This is because the installation setup is gonna remove it. And after this, yeah, it's going to be a new petition. Doesn't really matter. You just have to allocate it to the uh, setup. So let's click here on next and then on finish. It's gonna take a while, but then it should say the name you've made. And then of course that it is blue. This means that it's working. Let's go back to the installation and here you can see it in the list again. Let's select it and I click here on next. After doing that, it's going to get a few things ready. I'm pretty sure it's going to download now. There you go. And it's going to take a moment. It's going to take about 10 minutes to install. But while you're waiting, you can consider liking and subscribing to this channel because I'm putting all my effort into the tutorials you guys are watching the most. This means that I'm seeing that Windows, Mail, and best apps are actually pretty much doing the best on this platform. I use all of apps on my phone, also on my computer. I like to show you what I think are the best and the most secure, of course. Fast and free. <laughs> this, is, this is me. If you really enjoy that, just comment down below and let me know what your favorite programs are. Which one do you use that other people don't? Yeah, it's going to take about 10 minutes. By the way, I have already made a video about this, but I wanted to make it more short and more clear for beginners instead of more complicated installs. I made one where you can skip TPM and memory check. This means if you have an older system, it's just going to be able to install Windows 11, while normally it shouldn't. And for everyone still watching, Windows 10 users, hello, uh, it's the same process pretty much. It just changes one digit and that's the one to the zero. And if it's not, please let me know down below if you think it's any different and you have any questions, just comment. I will react always. It's almost done. And of course it has to verify the download. And now it's creating the Windows 11 media. This means that it's writing it to the USB stick. Even though it says you feel free to use your PC, uh, everything you're trying to do doesn't really work. So I don't know about that one. You can actually click on minimize and then right below in the hidden icons, you can actually find it again. If I can find it in my whole thing. Oh no, wait, it's here. Oh, they changed it. Oh, it doesn't matter. But here, the setup. By the way, if you're wondering what the ISO file is, it's right here. It just looks like a CD drive. That's exactly what it is. You can put it on your CD, it works. But now we have USBs and we can boot it and run it like that. I'm going to make a video how to boot all of these if you put them all on one USB stick and you can start them separately and everything like that. But to make one about that one and yeah, the program is really nice to use. I always use it when I run to repair my clients, their computers. Well, sometimes this can happen and then just I have to go back to disk management. There's a possibility it's removed everything for the USB stick. Let's create a new volume. I'm just going to click through it. After making a new volume, it should be as clean as possible and it's going to run now. I'm pretty sure I had this in my previous video where I showed you how to install it. And of course, it's for Windows 10 and 11, which is pretty much the same installation. There you go. A new volume. Go back to the downloads. Start the media creation tool. Now I'm going to wait a few hundred years again. Yeah, make sure you subscribe so we can reach 1000 at the end of this year. I hope we can. By the way, did you know if I say like or subscribe, the button down below actually glows? Check it out for yourself. Just scroll back. There you go, United States. Let's click on next, USB drive, and then a new volume. I will be right back. By the way, this part can take a little bit longer. This means it has to write to a USB stick. It's depending on how fast you own drive is running computer to your usb stick so my usb stick is actually a uh, 3.1 i guess so it's pretty fast one of the fastest is 3.2 and the fastest of course is usb c which you can actually find on your phone so that's pretty much the fastest one by the way i'm connected my own uh, s10 plus samsung phone to my laptop with the usb cable and i think it's better but i saw some lag so i'm so sorry you saw some lag in this video i'm still optimizing everything so the quality looks a lot better than it did two months ago and did yesterday because so i want the best quality for you guys while you enjoy content i create educational content so after it's done you should be able to see your usb flash drive is ready 
just click a finish and then you have to wait a few million years again. No, it can actually take about 5 minutes, but it can also take seconds just like it did with me. After doing this all, you can actually start up on your USB stick with the windows you chose. Windows 11 or Windows 10. For the rest, if you want to see how to do that, just check out the video I've listed above or in the description I've shown you how to do everything in a half hour instead of this 10 minute video. I want to thank you so much for watching, like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Every single video that has the most views and the most likes will probably get more content. I will see you in the next one and I thank you for watching.